Endangered Minds, Why Children Don't Think and What We Can Do About It, by Jane M. Healy is a thought-provoking exploration of the impact of modern technology and educational practices on the cognitive development of children. Published in 1990, Healy's book remains relevant today as it delves into the pressing concerns surrounding children's intellectual growth in an increasingly digital and fast-paced world. Healy, a former teacher and educational psychologist, presents a compelling argument that the minds of children are under threat in contemporary society. She begins by outlining the fundamental problem, children's cognitive abilities are being stunted. In a world dominated by television, video games, and other electronic distractions, she argues that children are not thinking critically, creatively, or deeply enough. Instead, they are becoming passive consumers of information, lacking the ability to analyze, synthesize, or apply knowledge effectively. Healy attributes this cognitive crisis to a combination of factors. Firstly, she highlights the influence of television, arguing that excessive screen time has detrimental effects on children's intellectual development. The passive nature of watching TV inhibits active learning, critical thinking, and problem-solving skills. Moreover, she underscores the pervasive impact of advertising on children, who are exposed to thousands of commercials each year. This constant bombardment, she claims, contributes to a culture of materialism and instant gratification, which hinders the development of patience and perseverance. Healy also takes aim at the education system. She criticizes the emphasis on rote memorization and standardized testing, which she argues suppresses independent thought and stifles the natural curiosity of children. Standardized tests, in particular, promote surface learning and the regurgitation of facts rather than encouraging a deeper understanding of the subjects being taught. The book's title, Endangered Minds, reflects Healy's dire assessment of the situation, but she doesn't stop at highlighting the problem. Throughout the book, she offers a range of practical solutions that parents, educators, and policymakers can implement to counter the cognitive decline she describes. One key solution is the importance of providing children with a rich, diverse, and stimulating environment. Healy advocates for parents to create an atmosphere at home that encourages reading, exploring, and engaging in creative activities. She emphasizes the significance of open-ended play, where children can use their imaginations and problem-solving skills. Additionally, Healy recommends limiting screen time, and when children do watch TV or play video games, parents should be actively involved in discussing and analyzing the content. Another essential aspect of Healy's prescription is the reform of the education system. She argues for a shift away from standardized testing and a return to more inquiry-based, hands-on learning. Teachers should focus on helping students think critically and develop problem-solving skills rather than teaching to the test. Healy also calls for a renewed emphasis on the arts and physical education in schools, as these subjects play a crucial role in fostering creativity and cognitive development. Healy's book, although written over three decades ago, remains relevant in a digital age where technology continues to shape the way children learn and interact with the world. The book's strengths lie in its well-researched arguments and practical suggestions, which provide a roadmap for parents and educators who want to foster critical thinking and deep learning in children. However, it's important to acknowledge that some aspects of the book may have evolved in the years since its publication. Technology has continued to advance rapidly, and the landscape of education has seen some changes. For example, the rise of the Internet, smartphones, and social media has introduced new challenges and opportunities for cognitive development. Healy's warnings about the dangers of television are still pertinent, but the influence of other digital media might need additional exploration. In conclusion, Endangered Minds by Jane M. 
Healy serves as a compelling and influential work that has resonated with parents and educators for decades. Healy's examination of the challenges posed by modern technology and educational practices is still relevant today, and her practical recommendations provide a solid foundation for addressing the cognitive crisis in children's education. While some aspects of the digital landscape have evolved since the book's publication, Healy's central message about the importance of fostering critical thinking and deep learning in children remains a vital and enduring concern.